Hey guys, this is the Jackal with a quick uh, video. Um, basically, the last one for 2013. Hope you had a good year and a good Christmas. But um, this is my top 10 uh, figures of 2013 that I have, have had. There are actually a couple that are tied, um, like number 1 and 8 and 10, but we'll get into that because it's, it's a good explanation. Then I do have some honorable mentions for other good figures so but yeah let's get started with number 10 um now I'm gonna say this this is basically most of them are from the generations line since the generations are like the best line out of this year but um <clears throat> for number 10 we have Goldfire and Bumblebee since they are just basically the same figures just repaints but I really like these um thought they would have a place on the list so they got on 10, so there's that. Number 9, and again, like I said, most of these are generations, so. Number 9, we have the, uh, I should also put Dreadwing as this too, since they're, again, the exact same mold. But, uh, yeah, Megatron, he's a pretty good figure. I do like the B2 bomber mode, so. Yeah, there's that. Um, number 8, um... Again, just like Bumblebee and Goldfire, um, Trail Cutter and Hoist. And I should also say, the light flickering we got from that light, it does that. So, it's just me, yeah, just me. But, um, yeah, Trail Cutter and Hoist. Um, number seven, we got basically Ryan Pax. So, actually, this guy would have been, like, beyond four, like, up there, but since there's others that came out, this one kind of got pushed back, but I still do like this a lot, so, but, um, yeah, there's that. Number five, generate, nearly dropped thing, uh, number five, uh, Generations Thundercracker, um, great mold. Great figure. Um, the reason why he's on here is because I like Thundercracker a lot. So, but yeah, there is Generations Thundercracker. Um, number four, and this is actually, I think the only, technically, this is the only Transformers Prime figure, but number two is still on its way. But um, we got Beast Hunters Ultra Magnus, which I did give a random gun to him, because I can. But uh, this was like the best Voyager from the Transformers Prime uh, line. So, but uh, yeah, there is number four. Number three, I got a feeling all of you guys are disagreeing with me so far. But this is number three. Uh, number three, yeah, Wasp and Hughes. I really like this. Um, I actually did manage to watch a review of the original. That one kind of did suck. But once I got this in hand, I was like... So, yeah, he is a good figure. I do like him. So, there is number three. Number two. Um, you got the... Oh, yeah, I got this guy for Christmas. I'm really happy with him. Not much people might agree with this since he is a repaint of a bad, bad figure that I actually kind of like still. Um, number two, Transformers Platinum Edition Ultra Magnus. Now I did, yes, I did open this guy. If you didn't see the review, go watch it. But, uh, he's a repaint of the Weaponizer Optimus, which not most people like, but I think as soon as this came out, everybody was like, I gotta get that thing. Everybody just basically turn their bar back on the Optimus version and the newer green for some reason and once they saw this they were like oh uh, that was basically me when I first saw this guy I was like yeah but uh, so yeah there's number two platinum edition ultra magnus and finally for the number one spot this is basically the same as bumblebee and gold fire and truck other hoist Basically another repaint and remold. Uh, I gotta say by far the best Voyager 
I have ever seen from any line pull well, besides Rhinox that's coming out, but I haven't seen him yet. For number one, for my favorite figure of the 2013 TF year, uh, trying to get this guy's thing fixed, we got Sandstorm and Springer. These two were just great. Um, yeah, I just love these two. This guy got back, I think, earlier in May or June or something. And uh, then, yeah, I got this guy at, like, July or August or something. But, yeah, that's number one. That is Springer and uh, Sandstorm. So, um, yeah, there is my top ten list. For honorable honorable mentions, these are basically known, not in particular order. Some of you might disagree on me with some of these. But uh, honorable mentions, Beast Hunter Shockwave, both Cyberverse, since that was actually a pretty good one, and the Voyager. Um, yeah, it's like these, like the guys that are in the top ten, let's just basically shun them. So, but uh, then for the second honorable mention, Beast Hunters Optimus, both Cyberverse and Voyager. Then we got Beast Hunters Megatron. This body here is a shark to God, but I still like them a lot. Um, Beast Hunter Smoke Screen, since this is actually um, our first real smoke screen, because, I mean, we did get a Arms Micron smoke screen, but that thing was like a knockout repaint. Not much people liked it. But uh, then, Construct Bots Hound, Blitzwing, and um, uh, Starscream. Now, those were good. I do like the Construct Bots line. Just that those. Like I said, the guys in the top ten and up were basically shutting all the others. But uh, and finally, for the last honorable mention, the Beast Hunter Skyclaw smokescreen. Uh, that one was good. I I'm honest about this. This was yeah. And I guess I should say, despite this not being a 2013 figure, that this was a 2012 figure. I just want to throw a great recommendation for yeah you seen the review this thing's great I just love it so despite this is a 2012 it should have been last year but this is I yeah got this this year but yeah that's just been a quick top 10 Transformers list for the year of 2013 I might have a next year if I remember it but um yeah I'll put the list of what I had because I have a list I made up quick um, in the description down below if you guys wanted to, uh, to see who I told you, but I just forgot, or you forgot. So, but uh, yeah, so thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you guys later.